He's got to be able to do it again. And this is the opportunity here right now. Let's get started. Let's not waste any more time. We are jumping into the loser semifinals. And Gluto, uh, can we point out the fact that Mute pulled a stitch? At just immediately. He pulled the bomb and just did not react against Louis Money. It was actually just like, it, it's the mute RNG. We were talking about this a little bit earlier, and it was even being said over during the Melee Top 8, the RNG at RNG for these Peach players is something else. But Gluto, you know, recognizing, hey, I, I don't want to be anywhere near you when you have that thing in your hand, so I'm just going to stay on my spawn platform. <laughs> he just stared and, and looked at him that entire time real quick before actually deciding something. And then with that fluoride stare. <laughs> Mute Ace. Oh what my god! The? No! Alright, you are not real. Sends out the Saturn just right back to the open hands of Mute. Tries to toss it right back. <laughs> and okay, Gluto doing maybe the, the prudent thing and making use of Mr. Saturn to either throw away or get a stock off of Gluto. Just barely behind in the percent, is going to be able to take that percent lead and Mute clanking out that bike down low. Both wow. of them. Nice little recovery, at least right there too, but also the Nair that was able to negate the hitbox from the bike too. So that way he could go all the way down below while Gluta was trying to shark for him. A little fair off jump. Both of these guys, neither, both of these guys are known for their long string combos, but neither one has hit one yet. It's felt like we're only like stray hits so far throughout this entire first game. That'll probably change once the first stock goes by the wayside. Gluto trying to jump out there and find it, but not quite yet. And something else that I'd like to point out, of course, as this game gets longer and longer, we're about to hit the two-minute mark before a stock has been taken. That can only benefit France's favorite. Wario, as he comes wow. rising up with the up B and finds it first. That and already now having the advantage taking that stock. He's got waft. Time's Run. up. It's time to find himself out here in the toilets. Trying to wait out too. I love the patient play, but you can look at the way that Mutis is just trying to find his spacing too. He gets that Nair. Nice back here distance too. Yeah, but Gluto recognizing that threat range perfectly. He's never going to be hit by something like that. But little triple oh, clap. Not the the by. And bye bye second stock. We're on our third. And he hasn't even lost the stock yet. It's just crazy looking at this. At 174, he's got a little bit of race to him too. And the it's worst. a matter of time to catch his jump. Yeah, into the up air. And the dot eyes, Vicky. This could be a no stock. No way. So we've got the, the stitch face of dot eyes and the Saturn. And, oh, and almost got the back here. yeah. Mute not willing to throw away this turn up early. He knows it's kind of his comeback mechanic, his win condition here. He needs to make use of the dot eyes for a big string, but okay, it's just gone. He's not going to be able to make use of it. He's just going to have to do mute ace things. Oh, so much damage coming in. Just wait patiently, tosses the turn up all the way up, gets hit with another back air. A 103 goes so Whoa! far deep at the side he's alive. Oh, he's coming right back. And the worst part about this by far, Vicky, is because Gluto got wafted so early and made use of it so early, he's going to have another one to close out the game, but he won't need it. He finds a back air and a two stock to open up loser semis. Back airs are incredibly scary. Almost landing one so close to the blast zone on that left side of the stage there. Was able to finally get it at the very end by the ledge. Nice spacing so far that we're seeing from Gluto, but a little explosive reply from uh, Mute, especially with that side B off the stage, but was still able to allow Gluto to get back. And I feel like, this is going to be odd to say, but I feel like the stitch face early on hurt Mute Ace because it immediately like signaled to Glutony, okay, play back. Do not give Mute Ace anything because he will probably kill you off of it. And as a result, Mute Ace didn't find anything. I think the biggest combo that he found, I pointed it out earlier, he didn't get anything until that 50% combo later on on the final stock. And because Gluto was playing so far back, Mute Ace didn't get to, like I said, do Mute Ace things. You want to be able to be as aggressive as you possibly can, especially within those first two minutes, so that way you could at least sway the win con that Gluto wants to go for when you get that waft ready. But not only did he take that stock first, he also was able to land the follow-up into the waft and then take that second stock just as clean. Seems like everybody here in this top four, well, they want to win quite bad, so they're going to be taking their time between games. Make sure they're nice and composed. Machine Gun Mute's got to cool off. <laughs> got to make sure that he's uh, is at optimal processing power. I think he's got to power up little by little real quick. Just to start up <laughs> before letting it rip. Well, on Small Battlefield, we'll see if he can do that right here, but no. Just the first snare connects before Gluto is able to get down and get his shield out. Usually we see that turn into a whole lot more, but Wario, he's a bit more tricky than most characters in this cast. He's able to follow up quite frequently from below the platform so far for Mew. 
gets that landing there, tries to get the ball up into the back air, but man, Udo is so slippery sometimes. Gets the ball up into the up air. Oh, and just a quick little slap off stage. Munez now has to figure out a way to recover past him, and oh. you're not going to be successful this time. One more try with the parasol, but no mix up's going to save you from Glutini's back air. He finds a first stock in only 40 seconds. Also, unfortunate that he had used the jump already early on when he was originally trying to make his way back before that forward tilt had landed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, that was a little scary. You know what? Only 29 feels like a blessing against Glutini because so often he turns that into so much more. Now coming back down to the stage, Mides tries to make use of the bike. Extending a couple of those hitboxes, that's a scary situation to be, so Ludo just very quickly disengages. He's like, all right, if you want to take control of that, I'm fine with it. I got a big lead. I can disengage. And Mutis is also going to be able to destroy that bike, but he was, he was dashing back, just waiting to see the space on what Ludo wanted to do around it originally. Sharks from right underneath, gets that up air, tosses up the bike, forcing Ludo to play by the left side of the ledge. Ooh, that's a nice grab, though, right out of the float. Ooh, tries to catch the back air, but Pluto just not giving it up. Knows all of Mudace's tricks. A quick little trip to melee, though. A down smash not enough to kill in this game. Wait, what are you What's gonna the do? the option? Staring at the face of danger because right Mute now. Because can't hit him. <laughs> if Mute tries to go in in that point, he's he's committed, and then he no longer has like the, the but, option yeah. to react, and he wants to be able to react in that situation. He does so successfully, and maybe here we go, off to the races. No, Gluto gets out once again, and that's, I think, the factor that lets him you know, so consistently deal with Mute Ace is that he's able to get out of those machine gun Mute combos. And it's not like he's panic jumping too to get out of this advantage. He's just waiting, drops right below any attempt at Mute trying to extend some of these combos, whether it be from Nair or from throwing the turn up. He knows how to pick his moments, and he knows how to pick them well. As a man who's been fighting Peach for over a decade. <laughs> oh, deep off stage. Mute just barely going to mag hands on. If he loses this stock, he's going to have Waff to contend with. And it doesn't look like this stock's much longer for the world. Now you see me, now you don't. Tries to avoid that up here, just delaying the float as he comes right back down. At 144, though, tries to get the back air trade, though. Coming in, doesn't land on the fair to try to catch Muto's landing instead. A lot of these raw back and forth that we're seeing from both these players. Oh, a quick oh, little yeah. chomp though, going to take the stock. And I was going to say, I feel like these, despite Mute being down in percents, those trades were very favorable for him. He was the one gaining stage control. He was the one setting up. And he's the one who's going to find a fair to bring us to last stock. Waft is a factor, but Mute can deal with that oh so easily if he gets the chance. Gluto goes high, unpunished, but Mute a nair into a grab. And no, Gluto is able to reversal. This could be wow. it. This could be the game. Oh, but avoids being pressed further on that platform before landing right there. Tukato's coming in, but Rar and it's Oh, tech. no way off the tech. You're low enough percent that you can tech. Now you have a second chance at it, and Mute definitely not going to let that pass him by. A quick 56% onto Gluto. Anybody's game, Vicky. Oh, the blessing coming in for Mute. That wind con now off the table here. The dot eyes coming in Number for him, one. too. I don't know how he does it. Check his controller. Check the monitor. Just dances around. Check everything <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Just tries to see on the platform, nice little parry. Just trying to disengage while Guido is just continuing on this aggression. Our back air gonna connect, sends Mute deep off stage, and we've seen how easily Gluto can convert these ledge situations into a stock, and he does it yet again. Down tilt, dash attack, see you later. Let's go to game three. I'm surprised he rolled onto the stage right there too. Gluto just waiting patiently for him, and that was the win come that he could have landed on too, that down tilt conversion immediately. And it's the reverse of the situation that we saw earlier on ledge with Mude staring down Gluto holding onto it. These top players, they're not going to be, when they're the one in control of ledge, they're not going to be the one to pick an option first. They want to use their broken reaction time to be able to find a kill. So they're going to wait for you to put pick jump, pick roll, pick neutral get up, pick whatever, because they're going to be able to react accordingly and probably find a stock on you. Ludo does so there, and we run it back to Small Battlefield for potentially Mutace's final game here at Rise and Grind 2023. Yeah, Gluto's sitting right now at match point here for all the marbles as Mutace is fighting for his life right now, his tournament life at Rise and Grind. Near string coming in isn't going to be granted the up air as Mute is just going to be able to DI onto the ledge. Get the ledge invincibility to the stitch face, though. I don't know how it That's keeps what, six, happening. Six special pulls from Mute in this three game set. That's not even been that long. Quick little down tilt in air to send Gluto away. Takes control of the stage, but Gluto again making use and dare I say abuse of Wario's airspeed to just get right back in as soon as Mute thinks he has control of the stage. He does not let him get away with that. Pretty much ever. Mute Ace, this is his chance. 
Might be able to get the stock here on ledge. Now Ludo goes high again, but okay. Nice. Yeah, uses the fair and the bike being right there to extend that hitbox here. Tries to call out the jump with the back air as he lands on top of him with a down air multi-hits. That way, right after that parry, he was able to get the follow-up. I wanted to see the parasol, I'll be honest. <laughs> Didn't go for it there, and now without a bike, Blutini just going to air dodge straight into the blast zone. You know, the bike's stuck on stage. It's in the shop. Not going to be able to use it to recover. He's just the mechanic instead, though, but hopefully he was able to retaliate. Ooh, the landing up air. Oh, it's it's the okay. The non-full walk still going to be enough to get the job done, and Glutini, I think, very smartly going ahead and making use of it to take the stock here, because then it'll start charging again, and he'll be able to make use of it on final stock if these games keep going, you know, the, the pace that they've been going. I like how you noted that, too. It's all about the timing here, especially with what Gluto has recognized, what he's got oh to my work gosh. with. And he's willing to wait, too, if he has to. Yeah, Mute just throwing out hitboxes, throwing out murder, because any single one of these, he's going to be able to convert into a oh. bajillion damage, and Gluto just staying right outside that threat range, going like, yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't threaten me if I'm not going to get hit by it. Since Halloween came early, fighting Ghost himself on the other side, just waiting for the pressure to come in. I feel like Peach would make a good Ghostbuster. <laughs> they call it in real quick, too. Exterminator, the spot dodge as he falls off the platform. I like that Glutini waited on that jab, too, just, like, obviously knowing that he had enough time between one and two uh, that he could delay and catch the spot dodge, so at least, like, it's not going to turn into anything, but he's also not going to get reversed enough. Nice little grab here to keep Bluto by the ledge. Tries to call him out from trying to use the bike to recover here with the fair, but Bluto's been so slippery, like keep noting. Another spot that's coming in from Mute. I don't know if that bike helped him or hurt him there, but certainly did something, and this time it's definitely hurting Mute Ace as he takes it to the jaw, gets sent off stage, and Gluto rising high with an up air continues this juggle situation. Mute doesn't have a jump. How do you get backstage against this? Uh, okay, that's how, but you're still gonna die. Oh man, unfortunate. So, but also it's the reaction from Gluto to immediately have another answer right after that didn't work too. With a little up smash, not gonna be enough to KO, especially not without any rage on Peach, one of her, her weaker killing options. Just waits, but while he's been float for a little bit, these nares have been a problem. Catches him with the dash attack while fighting for his life to get right back to the stage. And I actually, I definitely should have noted when Gluto did that first waft because I, oh, there it is. Okay, I was about to say, I feel like we're only seconds away from getting the full waft again, and there it is. My, my instinct serving me well here. We'll see if they serve Gluto or Mutace. All about this timing here, though. He gets the grab. Only at 170 here, tries to catch him with the turnip. Just jumping around. Yeah, just jumping, way so the ambiguous. But falling straight into the booty bump from Peach, the back air gonna close out that stock. And here we go, Mutes, where are oh, you going? Oh no, he messed it up. Oh, you could have taken him all the way to the other side right there. And that's how much faith I have in Mutes. Every time he connects with one of those, I say, here we go, no matter what, because I know he very well could just kill. Let's try to bring him all the way to the other side. Catches him with the up air. Double up air, he gets the reset on the platform, but Pluto slipping away again, going on the other side of land. He's taking so much damage, and off the back of Oh, no way. Jumps off the bike into some road kill, and Gluto taking the set against Mute Ace once again, racking up another number on the board.